This video will show how to download data from UWYO or the University of Wyoming and create soundings and time height diagrams. First we'll start with the RAYAB website and we'll go to data sources and then we'll click on the UWYO University of Wyoming data. In here we see sites across the United States and, and you can pick regions from around the world but we'll stick with North America and we'll look at Nashville. If you notice, it's labeled in the left corner, lower left corner. And we're going to select data from the entire month of July. So we'll go to July. And we'll go from the 1st of July to the end of July. And then we'll go to BNA for Nashville. And we'll click. And there's our data for all 31 days. We'll right click and select all. Then right click again and copy to our clipboard. And now we can close the site and open up the Rayab program. And here we have the blank SKU T with the Rayab program and we can just go to the file menu, select new sounding, and we could use the clear and open freeform editor for copy and paste operations, or we can just use the edit menu and go straight to the source data editor. And here we can just right click and paste the data and all our soundings are listed here. We can scroll up real quickly and see all 31 days. So we just go to File, Save As, and we'll give it a name, text, and Save. And now we have all our soundings, so just select one for printing, and there is our sounding. And now we can go to the cross section and create a time height diagram. And to do that, we just go to Displays and select Cross Section. And here's our blank cross section. So we'll go to the file menu, open up create new cross section, and we're going to create a time height diagram or time cross section. And we're going to do a quick load. We'll load all the soundings and we'll select the file where we saved all the uh, soundings for Nashville in the UWYO text. We'll open that up and now it's loading all soundings, 61 of them, and then we'll save and plot. And we'll just call this X for a cross section and it's loading and transferring and there's all 31 days for the month of July and we can do a quick analysis we can do wind speed